Hello good people and welcome to the workshop. I hope you're all doing marvellously well. We've done this job on the bridge port of just facing off some some bits of brass and uh, we didn't have a machine vice, we had to use this cheap one. But this morning it's arrived, the machine vice. I got it from Vivo, is it Vivo? I got it from Vivo, uh, it should be a 5 inch vice, so we'll crack it open and have a quick look. Every day is like Christmas here. Oh, oh what a beast. Handle. Good grief. It's quite heavy. <clears throat> hmm. Nice. So here it is. Uh, it's quite large. Uh, I decided to go for a five inch vice. Uh, so there we are, five inch vice. Bit heavier duty than this, this little one. As you can see, it should do the trick for now. Can't feel any play in it. I need to learn to take burrs off. That edge is quite sharp. But for the price, it'll do the trick for now until we can afford a, an heavier duty one. So, right, let's swap these over. So I'll off the lower. Some naughty boy left the uh, tooling in. might need to get some longer bolts because I don't think they're gonna grip yeah I'm gonna need to get some longer bolts oh this side's all right that one that one's a bit short this side's okay we'll just nip her up just for now just so I don't bang into it and knock it off it's got quite a big opening as well I think We should easily get five and three quarter inches in there. 145 mil. That should do us. Obviously anything bigger than that, well, we can go straight to the bed. Yes, we now have a milling vise. Just gone and got some, some longer bolts. These are a bit longer. Now, I get all my fittings from a company called J&J &J Ashcroft. Uh, based in Leyland uh, They're not sponsoring the video or anything, but they are a great firm to deal with and uh, they can Help with all sorts of fittings and stuff So I'll put a link in the description For you to look at so we'll get these swapped out I'll show you Keep hold of that washer uh, Yeah Bit of a difference to this one, it was literally like half a thread I think it was holding on by. Right, I'm not going to tighten it down just yet, because I want to get this vise as close to the middle as possible. I'll try and get this in the middle, we'll get it as close as we can. Somewhere about there I think. So I'm just going to gently nip these. I'm not going to tighten them up too tight because we're going to see if we can make sure we're trammed in 
Right, so we're going to put the DTI down here. So I've got it low on the brass, uh, obviously making sure it's not touching anywhere. Because we don't want it up here because we might get decrepancies. So it's not the perfect way of doing it. I could do with a finger dial test indicator and then I could run it along that edge. But unfortunately I've only got this one at the moment. So I will just use this. Uh, we'll run it along the edge there and then see how far out it is and just uh, tweak it until we get it right. Not even a towel. I'm happy with that. Jobs are good and that took some doing. Right, so we'll tram it across here now. I've locked the Y and Z axes. And we'll just move it across and see, see how far out we are. moved a little fraction so that could be my DTI so on the side it's moved less than a thou so I'm happy with that that's close enough we're not building uh, space rockets are we well, let's face it this is a cheap vice so there we are my V board five inch machine vise we've got it bolted on we've got some nice decent bolts on it i find it very strange that you can only ever bolt a vise down with two bolts that's a bit strange to me i've got it all trammed in it's very close it just seems a little high on this back side by le it's less than a thou but this is a cheap vise and i'm quite impressed with how close i got it for being a cheap vise so now we can crack on, we can get some jobs done, and that's that's the most important thing is the fact that we can we can get work done. Yeah, I don't expect this to like be here in 30 years, you know. Uh, I don't think it's that good a quality, but it gets me rolling, it gets me moving. If you do like what you've seen in the video, please click the like button, and that will help it spread further afield in the YouTube algorithm. And you'll be doing the channel a huge favour. Until next time, laters.